Hello everybody, uh, this is going to be a video about my uh, new new card I've had for about a month. i got about four races on it. It is a, uh, either a 2010 or a 2011 Undertaker. Uh, they're made out of, I think, Virginia now. They were out of, I think, uh, South Carolina. But the guy sold the company. And I think they're made by Ward. I'm not real sure. Uh, this is the only Undertaker I've ever seen in my in my lifetime but it is it does it does have everything like you know an Ultra Max or Phantom or like a Slack or something like that would have it's got the L uh, caster blocks up front you know it's got the weight jacker in the rear it doesn't have the uh, the like clamshell type uh, rear bearing hangers but it is adjustable in the rear end as you can see, it does have the mini lights on there. I'm not too crazy about them. They're not too bad, but they're sometimes they're just not enough. It seems like there's a lot of play in the pedal, even when I have the brakes adjusted super tight. There's still a crap ton of play. And yeah, I'm running a uh, 212 Predator on it. It's not the uh, it's not the six and a half yellow or blue, which I think those are like 196 or 200 or whatever they are. But the only difference is the uh, the stroke and the uh, the pistons a little bit bigger. That's the only difference in between them. Um, it's got a CL1 cam in it and 10.8 springs. That's all we're allowed to do in the class that I run, which is just the 212 Predator. Uh, if I would run a uh, a blue motor or something like that, I'd probably run around medium, because I weigh about, around, I weigh around 353 in the cart, uh, it's very light go cart, uh, I was very surprised, because it is a big tube chassis, um, we do run on dirt, down where I live, and yeah, it's, it's probably the uh, best cart I've, I've had, it's easy to drive, it's very easy to work on, I mean, very easy, um, it's very comparable to, like, a, uh, Bad Max, or a, like, a Blaze Octane, and it's kind of similar to a, uh, to kind of like a Phantom, like a Banshee, or a Nemesis, something like that, I bought this thing off of uh, Bob's Four Cycle for six hundred twenty-five bucks. Shipped to my house. It was very cheap. Uh, it it was very cheap, and it only took like a week to get from North Carolina to Missouri, where I live at. Uh, <coughs> like I said, it does have the uh, newer front end on it. It's got the caster blocks and everything. Uh, the only thing I really don't like about the cart is it having the, uh, the throttle mount down in the, uh, floor pan. Uh, I found that things seem to get caught in the little spring that returns your throttle back. But, you know, other than that, it's, that's the only flaw that this thing has, uh, it is a little rough, like the powder coat chipping, but I mean, it's it's a cart. I mean, it's a, it's only two two years old, so I mean, it's not like it's junk, but yeah, and yeah, and it does. It's got a large Omega seat in it, and a uh, one of the fuel tanks that mount to the uh, steering support. Yeah. Got a full set of uh, Maxis, Maxis HT3s, um, which they're all right, but it needs new right sides. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, will be posting uh, helmet cam videos of me in this thing. Uh, I'm still trying to figure it out a little bit. Uh, it's got kind of a weird push to it. I changed a few things around this week, so hopefully it helps. Uh, we'll see, though. I've, I've only ran about four times in it, but I've I've won once in it, but it's on a it's on a short track. We've been going to a little bit bigger tracks now, and it it seems to like the short tracks really well, but these bigger tracks, it 
it's got a problem going into the corner. It seems like it's binding up somewhere. But hopefully we can get that figured out this weekend and get it up front. So until then, I'll see you later, guys. Bye.